Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Debbie Creative and I am here. It's dark outside. It's not late, but it's dark. So in my other art light, <laughs> um, my grandson knocked it over and my book came out. It didn't break, but it kind of, I don't know, the filament was loose, so I didn't want to use it again. I should have, I don't know, I should have tried it out, but anyway, I threw it away. So my lighting is terrible, but anyway, um, I was scrapbooking and I made some layouts and I said, oh, you know, I should be filming some of them. Um, and I have been finishing up photos and I mean layouts so that I started and anyway and these are just very simple ones that I'm making and I just thought I would have you join along so you can kind of see what I'm doing and um, feel free to fast forward if you like I'm doing it in real time but I just thought I'd come up here and try it out. See how long it's going to take. Now, it's not like this. This layout is not something that um, I had not already thought out. So I did. So that's the good thing about it. it's not going to be um, all my pieces are cut out. All my pieces are already inked. Rip one of my pieces over here, but um, should be camouflaged. By the time I get everything together, and this paper I'm using, I got it from Big Lots. That's how I ordered it. If y'all remember, if y'all have a Big Lots in the area, they had a lot of craft supplies, and they had them. I got them for like 100 off. I think I, the pet paper, oops, I knew that was gonna happen, wasn't um, that thick. It maybe had a 36 sheets in it I guess. It was all about robots. And I said, oh, it's a boy collection. I definitely want to get that because you know it's so hard to find a collection that is geared to boys and I got it a 90% off when Big Lots was going out of the scrapbooking um, business. They had stopped selling stuff. Boy, I mean I got some really good deals. I, <laughs> I got a video up on my channel from way back then when I did that. That's when I first started um, doing haul videos I think it's because of them that was my first um, haul video was with Big Lots anyway I got the pad of paper for like two dollars I think maybe and then I got a Cricut cartridge the Disney Cricut cartridge of um, cars for like five dollars or something like that and this was you know when Cricut cartridges were still going for 60 bucks you know the physical cartridge is more like 60 bucks um, and I got it for, for like six five maybe it was 495 or something like 497 whatever it was 90 percent off it was a good deal so I'm just reiterating this ATG gun so that I can continue to craft hopefully this thing works sometimes brands this roll of tape um, that can be tricky sometimes but anyway um, okay going off the edge um, but what I was saying about the paper it's really cheap but I, I like the colors because it was definitely boys robotics robot and I had a robot robots cartridge that I got as well and the problem is a lot of the colors I couldn't find like good matches. All the blues are always off, never quite the same shade. All the oranges, all the greens. Um, but you know, you make it work, right? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it work. Anyway, this is the B side of that. So I just flipped them over. And trying to remember my layout here. You know, it's it's different, you know, like doing a layout at home, doing it on camera. It's easier to do it with nobody watching. 
And of course I played around with this a hundred times. Just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But it's very plain and simple. Not nothing. I'm pretty much clean and simple. Although I have done, you know, decadent layouts before, which some of those layouts I don't show because I have other people in them and I don't have permission to show their photos, so I don't show them. But see and I use vintage photo you know my distress inks by Ranger Tim Holtz for this layout I think I'm gonna put that up there um so what's today's date the 20 huh 28th I think it is that's Saturday for New Year's. And I'm just chilling. I'm just trying to get a little crafting in for the New Year's. And one thing I must say, it is the hardest thing if you don't have stuff to go along with your collection to find stuff to go along with your collection for boys. I mean, you can find something. I can pull out anything to go with girls. It's just not as easy with boys. And I know you can do whatever, but I'm very traditional. And I like masculine stuff to be masculine. And yes, and I know you can put flowers and you can use other things. But I'm just saying it's like, I think, you know, scrapbookers don't have sons or men don't scrapbook or women don't scrapbook for their husbands. It's like, it's just, it just would be nice sometimes if they made more embellishments, you know. Um, I think that's what I'm doing. But anyway, so um, I find that it's harder to find what I'm looking for. But boys, I have to always end up making my own embellishments. Because there's not enough of what I want. So you guys who have sons and grandsons, you know exactly what I mean. One, two, three. One, two. So I did spend the other day, I just sit around and I just put out a whole bunch of dyes and I just said you know what I'm gonna make my own embellishments and um that's what I did you know I just made a bunch of banners and tags and just little stuff that could go you know a little filler stuff and some filler colors you know um Cause it's just hard. You're at home. You just I can't just run to Michael's on Tuesday morning and find boy embellishments. <laughs> and I hate that. It's like why don't y'all have boy embellishments? And I'm putting this. I don't know if you can even see this, but I have a little blue right here that I don't want to be seen. So I'm just gonna kind of put this kind of low. Cover that, but um, so you know, you know, you always do a lot of things in threes. That's one of the, the biggest concepts in scrapbooking is to have a triangle somewhere visually. Um, Like I said, these are very simple layouts. I don't usually get guide on guys on the boys stuff because I just don't have all the stuff like to do as much layering. And I need to get more stuff to layer. Or continue to make more stuff to layer. that's my challenge that I have and so I went back and forth I was I saw a different design that had um, 
like one circle but I just feel like I couldn't find my I feel like digging well I could find if I had to get them I feel like getting up to go look for <laughs> um, my other dies that were across the room so I just read my other dies that it was closer they had smaller circles so um, if I had got my other dies that I would have made a bigger circle and then two would have two circles would have worked but because I didn't get up I decided you know what I'll make three circles so that's what I did but the original one that I saw on Pinterest only had um, the banner and the two piece course you know I said well make it my own start out with a scrap lip and then make it your own that's what you do anyway but you know that's a good place to go is you know Pinterest or anywhere like that when you're looking for um, just some ideas and I have to get a ruler over here because I'm for notorious for not lining stuff up Wanted to be too cricket. Let's see, that might be too low. Nope, that'll work. Um, so yeah, let's cook dinner. And I said, let me go back upstairs and finish these um, layouts. So, one of my goals for the at the beginning of the year was to do 52 layouts which I didn't think I was going to meet that goal and I didn't but I did meet my other crafty goals which was to use 52 punches and 52 dies and I almost I didn't meet all my cartridges my Cricut cartridges for my Cricut collab that I was still working on I almost used, I forgot how many cartridges I used. It wasn't quite 50, but I did a lot. I did bring this down too low, I think, because I was supposed to be putting these up here. What? I'll make it work. So I use this. I made this little banner out of my um, We Are Memory Keepers. What's the name of that punch? Oh my gosh, taking pieces out was so difficult. I broke the letter S trying to get it a, a loop apart. It's aggravating. And of course you need S for everything. Maybe I could do it like that. So let's see. These pictures are several years old. Um, trying to think if I want to pop these little trucks. And these are Spellbinders die, which I did get from Tuesday morning. I got that, um, and they had some Spellbinders dies, and it was like, oh my gosh, they had a robot, they had these little tractors, and I was like, you know what? I will use that to make some embellishments. I knew when I saw it I was going to get it because I said you know boys like transportation. So do girls but boys particularly do like cars. I can say for all my years and I worked with kids a lot throughout my career. Especially birth to three. And boys naturally if you put a boy and a girl in a room there's always an exception to every but boys naturally want something with wheels. Oh my gosh they will grab anything that moves I mean balls and cars and trucks they play with other stuff too but I'm telling you overwhelmingly boys like things that move just naturally I'm just talking about young babies you don't you put both in front of them and that's what they naturally would go for um, same thing with girls if you put a doll in front of them or a ball they picked the ball, the doll with a teddy bear. 
over the ball. Now, there's, like I said, there's always exception, but I'm just saying, like, it's just cracked me up, like, you know, how much you can offer a boy sometimes. Like, if they could throw it, oh my gosh, they can't throw it. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think, where did I just put my phone? Okay. I'm just rambling. But, um, I did just want to come on and make a video and I do a lot of scrapbooking that I don't put on my channel and I keep meaning to do that because I know when I did a survey people said they want to see more layouts so I do need to start doing more um, so I'm gonna try because my goal is to finish. That's why I got into paper crafting was to scrapbook and mini albums. I make, I do make, I still make those, but I don't make enough of them um, like I want to. I usually making it for somebody else, but I'm not making enough for my family, and that's what I need to be making some for. So same thing with the scrapbook, and I'm like, I gotta get this family stuff done. Like my kids having kids and I'm still trying to get their scrapbooking done. <laughs> but my grandchildren be first. That's what I told my kids. I said they're not go back by the time. I probably be a great grandma that be working on their scrapbook albums. Hopefully not. I'm just joking. Hopefully it won't be that far behind. But you never know. So I wonder what you guys are working on on this Saturday. Leave it in the box below and let me know what you guys are working on. When's the last time you made uh, a layout? And are y'all caught up with all the scrapbooking albums that you were supposed to make for your kids if you were on that journey if you weren't that's fine too but you know a lot of people say they, they can't do scrapbooking but if you go on the planner planning and you do those um, layouts for your plan that's the same as scrapbooking just on a different format but it's the same concept you have to look at your page and make a layout and um so very similar. You may not think so, but it's very similar. You gotta be able to do that. So that's why I said, hmm, a real planner, you can be a scrapbooker. And vice versa. It's just you have to change your mindset about the size of the canvas. Just like making ATCs, ICs or ICAs in um, index cards. It's the same thing. Even inches and twenties, they are a good way to stretch your creativity is to go and try one of those because of the size. It's different than what you might be used to working with, but um, but it's a good challenge for yourself. Because canvases, less or more, can be um, challenging to put all your thoughts into a little teeny space. Or can be overwhelming to put it on the big space. So it just depends on your perspective, but you should do it from time to time just to challenge yourself. It's really fun to do that. Um, because then you let yourself know, you know, it's okay. That's why I like mixed media too. If I make a mistake or whatever, it's just an expression. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's the, it's the one time that you do feel like, you know, you can make mistakes in um, mixed media. You can always lay it up with another layer of paint <laughs> and keep going. So, if you have a boy, a son, husband, brother, wait a minute, I'm scrapbooking, I mean I'm videotaping. Um, let me know how it feels when you have challenges to, um, okay, see, that's my grandson, the other one here trying to be on the camera, 
Um, but anyway, if you have challenges as well when it comes to scrapbooking for boys because they don't have the same kind of products that you find always for girls with the same colors. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm almost done. I can't watch that video right now, honey. I'm making a video. Yes, I can't watch, make, watch it for 2 minutes and 24 seconds while I'm making a video. That would be rude. Yes, it would. So anyway, I think I need to move this over a little bit. He tried to be funny doing that going out of the room. This tape is so sticky. Alright. Let's work. So that's just a little simple plain layout. I'm probably add a little bit more onto it. Um, I'm going to add something up here. I don't know what yet. But I did want to. Oops. Just to come on and get started. Making some layouts. Um, I just got to get a couple of them. I don't know what I'm going to put in that corner right there. But anyway, so that's just a little simple layout. Sorry about the glare. My light is over there. But, um, yeah, so that's just kind of it. So I just I cut all of these out on uh, what Spellbinders dies. That was my Wear Memory Keepers um, Letter Punch. These are some Memento dies. This was cut out with uh, We Are Memory Keepers dies. That was cut out with some Spellbinders. No, um, Darice dies. That was cut out with um, Spellbinders die. And so that was a very simple, quick layout. Um, Everything's ink with vintage photo. So, um, mine are pretty simple, but anyway, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And if you haven't um, finished any of your layouts, I, could, I challenge you to create one and, and, and let me know if you finished one as well. And um, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. So, this is the final version. Only difference, I just added a couple of enamel dots. I was looking for some buttons. Didn't really have any that matched, so I just saw about that glare. Added a couple of enamel dots, you know, just to get a little bit more texture. Anyway, so that is the final one. So thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing.